Welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be talking about location. Does location matter when you're starting your SMMA or are you limited by location? Can you start SMMA from anywhere in the world? We're going to be talking all about location. If you guys don't know me, my name is Jaime. In this channel, I talk about SMMA and entrepreneurship with a specific focus on sales and outreach, which is by far the biggest roadblock for agency and SMMA owners. I get this question quite a lot, which is, hey, can I start SMMA if I'm in India, Spain? France, Italy, does this work if I'm in Germany, if I'm in the US, can I sign clients from anywhere in the world? I get these questions a lot and I just got back from a trip to Italy. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have uh, already know that. You might have seen some of the Instagram stories that I've posted there. It was honestly a beautiful place and I always like to take you know five to 10 days off every single month to make sure I travel with friends, uh, I see the world and I also take some, some time off uh, to reflect uh, on my business. The idea of location has been on my mind as of late and what I wanna cover in this video is first of all, does not matter when signing clients? Second of all, does not matter when actually producing uh, results and delivering the service for clients? And thirdly, my personal experience and some of the objections you may have to handle regarding location by uh, prospects and, and clients. First things first, does not matter when signing clients? Now, what I can tell you guys is at this stage, I've never ever had a, an in-person client meeting. Actually, that is a lie, I had one single meeting, but that meeting uh, was with a client that I was referred to by a friend of mine uh, in the agency space who, who doesn't obviously deliver uh, the service that I do. And so he actually connected me with this very high level uh, business owner and uh, us three, you know, we all sat down and had a, a coffee, had a chat. And uh, the only reason why I accepted that was because I, I, I knew I, I needed that, that you know, rapport building uh, side of things. So him being there just built, built incredible rapport um, and, and really made you know, the, the choice of almost a no-brainer to that prospect. But that is the only reason why I accepted that in-person meeting request. I'm quite picky when it comes to uh, you know, I actually spend my time and where I put my, my time and attention. And yes, you know, having these sales calls, having a potential client meeting is you know, by far the best use of your time, especially when you're starting an agency. But if you can do it over Zoom, which is what I use for, you know, as I said, 99.9% .9 of my meetings, and it's, it's what I've used since the very, very early stages of my agency, why not do that? What I can tell you is most prospects have no problem with that. In fact, it's much easier for them because they're almost in the same spot where, you know, as I am, where they don't want to you know, drive to a, a coffee shop or they don't want to you know, even host you at, at, at their office. Uh, they don't really want to do that, especially because with Zoom, you, can, you, know, you literally have that face-to-face -face interaction. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's the same as having that you know, physical interaction. Obviously, it's not, and there's an element uh, that you're going to have to make up for in the Zoom meetings, but it's really not much worse. I feel like that's what a lot of people misunderstand or just get wrong about Zoom meetings. They think that it's this very impersonal thing, right? And they think that Zoom is just not a place to get stuff done or to get big uh, deals closed. And what I can tell you is that that's completely not true. You can also use platforms like Skype. Uh, I don't like it that much because simply with Zoom, you literally send them your uh, Zoom meeting link. Uh, they just click there and they get taken to the Zoom meeting link and it's honestly just effortless. And so when it comes to signing clients, you can do it very, very remotely. And also that is one of the reasons why most of my clients are actually in the US, in the UK, you know, France, Japan, just all over the world. By opening yourself up to the world, it opens up a massive pool of potential prospects in your niche and you're not limited by location, right? That also depends on your niche. If you're e-commerce, uh, then it's, you know, it's definitely much easier. But even for local businesses, if you're doing restaurants, if you're doing dentists, if you're doing gyms, why limit yourself to the, the businesses in your area? Start there. Obviously, don't try to conquer the sea when you haven't even conquered you know, your, your little pond. Conquer that. But once you've conquered that and once you've exhausted all potential leads, potentially even uh, signed a few clients in that location, open up your operations to pretty much worldwide, right? That's what a lot of people get wrong. They think that even, you know, if they're doing local businesses, they, they just have to limit themselves to their single area. And what you guys have to understand is, you have to understand the context of the service you're providing. The service that we're providing are online services, Facebook ads, SEO, social media management, whatever it is, whatever you're offering, those, those services can be done completely remotely, right? They, they are, they're done completely online and they don't require physical presence. And so the same applies when it comes to signing clients, when it comes to the sales process prior to delivering the service. The nature of the service sets up the relationship in, the, in, a, in a way where the client, the prospect, doesn't expect to meet you physically. Because during the whole partnership, the whole interaction, they know that they can do that completely remotely. And so if they like you by Zoom, they're gonna like the way you interact with them you know, during the whole uh, partnership. And so that is what I want you guys to keep in mind. Obviously, if you're creating content where you physically have to meet these clients and, and shoot content for them, or you physically have to pop into the restaurants, their, you know, their, their clinic, whatever it is, and actually take uh, pictures or, or videos, whatever it is, if your service 
is physical, then you are more limited in location. But if your service is online, then you pretty much have in, in, just an insane freedom to reach out to clients uh, and not be limited by location. And that is one of the things that, you, that I want you guys to, to keep in mind and take away from this video. Even if you're doing local businesses, you can still reach out and open up your list of prospects to pretty much anywhere in the world. But first, make sure that you conquer the pond. The second thing that I want to talk about is the actual service delivery. Do you have to be tied to a, a certain place? Can you be completely remote? Do you have location freedom, which is what a lot of people uh, seek. They just want to be chilling in, in a beach in, in the Caribbean and uh, on their laptop and be providing the service. And what I can tell you is if that is what you choose to do, it is definitely possible. The reason why it's possible is again, number one, the service is gone online. The communication with clients can be done online. You never have to physically go to their office and meet them um, you know, face to face, that is all online. Second thing is you have the time to do so, right? And that is one of the things that a lot of people uh, you know, completely neglect and also a lot of people do wrong and they end up not having the time um, to actually enjoy their money and, and travel the world and have that location freedom. And the reason why that is, is because what a lot of people don't do in the agency space is actually build a team an A team that can actually take care of the service delivery so that they pretty much just focus on the high income activities, on the high impact activities, which is sales outreach, you know, working on, on the systems processes that are gonna streamline your uh, agency, actually providing incredible client experience. And so the reason why a lot of people don't have that time freedom to enjoy that low kitchen freedom is because constantly having to do everything themselves, right? They, they have to do the, the service delivery, they have to do the sales and outreach, they have to communicate with clients, and that is not what an agency is. That is what a, maybe a freelancer is. That is what maybe a, just a contractor is, the, the do-it-all contractor is. But if you're building an agency, you have to have a person that actually delivers the service so that you can focus on the high impact activities and so that you can scale the agency. In my personal experience, what I can tell you guys is I usually spend around seven to maybe you know, 10, 14 hours max on service delivery, on actually working on, on the ads, copywriting, et cetera, et cetera, for my clients. That is actually a personal choice that I make. If I chose to, uh, you know, completely reduce that, I could definitely do so. But, you know, I, I actually really like what I do. I actually really like running, you know, Facebook ads, especially writing copy for my clients. I actually told all my team members to leave that down to me uh, because I really want to, you know, master that that one skill in the, um, in the upcoming months and really just become an, an expert at it. If I chose to, you know, completely reduce that, I could probably go a whole week working four to five hours on, on service delivery. And so it's pretty blissful if you structure it the right way and it gives you that location freedom to pretty much deliver the service from anywhere in the world, to be chilling in Bali, Thailand, wherever you want to uh, do it, or, or maybe just from the comfort of your home. But yeah, that is the second answer to that question, which is the actual service delivery. Are you tied to a specific place when delivering the service? And the answer is no, because you can do it completely remotely. It's an online service, which means you can do it online from anywhere in the world, as long as you have a laptop with you and an internet connection. Third thing is common objections. And I feel like a lot of people think that not having that physical interaction or not having a, a set office actually reduces their, their authority, actually puts them in, in, a, in a worse spot, especially when you're going for those big clients, especially when you're, when you're trying to serve your, your authority um, you know, in your first few months with your agency. They feel like if they don't have that physical interaction, they don't tell their prospects that they have a, an office, the typical traditional agency has. They think that they're a much worse option than uh, the, the traditional um, agency with a swanky office and just you know a bunch of you know 500 employees, 800 employees in a, you know in New York's uh, Fifth Avenue. And what I can tell you is the reason why I've had clients who are making you know 19, 20 million a year, uh, who are making you know 500k a year, actually reach out to me and become clients of ours is simply because. The client doesn't care about the swanky office at least anymore, right? They don't so much care about you having a uh, just a, a team of you know 10, 20 people uh, running you know 100 different accounts, uh, this and that, right? What clients care about nowadays is results. Can you get them a specific result, and can you do it in the fastest and most profitable way? And so the reason why a lot of massive, massive companies and a, a lot of big dogs used to work with my agency instead of the, the traditional, more corporate -y type of agency in New York, London, wherever it is, the reason why they do that is because the service can be done remotely. And number two is they know that I'm gonna be offering them a better price because in my price, I'm not factoring in the insane rent cost, the, the insane uh, just office you know, cost, uh, just a, a really cool coffee machine or a really cool artwork in my penthouse office. I'm not factoring in all those costs. What I'm charging, they know, is just a tiny fraction of the results and the value that my team are gonna be able to produce them, that are gonna be able to generate them, right? Not factoring in all these just insane costs that most traditional agencies 
uh, factor in and clients really appreciate that nowadays. In fact, they're looking for this type of agency. They're looking for agencies that can do the job remotely. They're looking for agencies that are results oriented. They're looking for agencies that can charge them less and actually focus on results and get them better results. And so guys, that is my three part answer to this question. Number one, does location matter when signing clients? Can you sign clients from anywhere in the world? Are you limited by location? The answer to that is no, unless your service delivery requires you to be physically there, for example, shooting content, then your pool of prospects are pretty much worldwide. Number two, doesn't matter when actually delivering the service. The answer to that is a big no. You can do the, the service completely remotely and if you structure it well, you have the, the time freedom to actually have the location freedom and to enjoy the, the money that you're making and, and travel the world and really just enjoy yourself. And maybe if you don't want to travel the world, just have you know little trips with, with your family, uh, treat your family to a nice trip. Number three is common objections. Why would big clients trust an agency who doesn't have an office or doesn't have a big team. And the reason why that is, is because you can be able to charge them less because you don't have to factor all this, you know, just insane overheads that most traditional agencies have. And you're actually gonna be able to just laser focus on results. And that is what they care about at the end of the day. That is why you're able to charge them, you know, three, four, five K simply because most traditional agencies will actually charge them 20, 25 K and not because they can produce better results, but simply because as I said, they have this massive overheads that they have to factor in into their service fee. So yeah, guys, hope those were of value. Hope you enjoyed those. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm. I would really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. Second thing is leave down below any questions, any comments you may have on the video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do so. I've got so much content coming out on SMA, sales and outreach, and entrepreneurship in general. If you don't want to miss that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Lastly, you guys, if you haven't joined the free Facebook community, the client closures, honestly, it's an amazing community. It's full of like-minded people who are trying to scale their agency and level up in life. On the group, I'm posting content that I'm not posting anywhere else. If you want to lock in your spot, I've captured 100 people. Go ahead and check out the link in bio. And as always, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey, and I will speak to you in the next one. Peace.